today's video is very different. Um, so I thought I'd show some experimental wood dyes and stains. Let's get cracking with blackberries. Right, I'm going to start at 150 and have a look. Yeah, so we'll start at 150 and add more as we need it. So this one just looks great. Give it a shake up. You can already see the colour starting to come out. The big lemon knife. Let's paint this on. And we'll turn that off because I can hear it boiling. And that'll be when all the pectin comes out. If you don't know what pectin is, it's some stuff that happens when you do jam. You can look it up if you're interested. At the moment we're just trying to lay down a base coat. Just give it a stir around. So you can see, as soon as I put it on, the colour is just amazing. Now I'm using um, some plywood. It's just from B&Q or Home Base, one of the two. Probably B&Q. Although it could be Home Base, I don't know. So yeah, I've actually found with turmeric, the powder stuff really gives it a nice look. Turmeric, sort of like a rubbing dye. Rub it into the wood grain. You can see this one's where I spilt some stuff. You can see the colour differences. It's kind of cool. So we're going to give the ones that I've done another coat. Okay, so we've got another couple of things. We've got tomatoes. These are just old things that um, were going a bit disgusting. If I can help not throw them out. Some blueberries, some coffee powder. And uh, coffee at the back. So this is, as I said, an espresso coffee capsules. I know this one looks really good as well. It just requires a lot of coats. It's quite smelly of coffee. So I'm going to stain the one just behind the red currants. So this green is usually very, very subtle. So I usually add five, six coats of this. It is time consuming doing these food dyes. Take some of this away. As you can see, I'm literally just scraping it to the side for now. I'll clean it all up later. That's probably going to be the nicest colour I've got today. Of this one I need. We'll put that on and see what happens. We've added a coat of blueberry. I've got tomato, puree, whatever you want to call it here. Um, it's looking quite good at the moment. 